Let's talk about the 10 millimeter. If you've been following my channel, you know it is my preferred round. It's just so incredible. Back in 1983, Jeff Cooper, one of the pioneers of the firearm industry of the 20th century, he nailed it. He wanted a round that had better ballistics than the 45, and he got it. As a matter of fact, it's the most powerful Glock made. We'll look at a couple of Glock 10 millimeters here in a moment. We're even going to look at some range footage where I take this beautiful gun. Please take a look really close here at this gorgeous Kimber Eclipse Custom 2. Oh my gosh. And I was with my buddy Anthony. But I want you to look at the recoil in particular. It's nil on the 1911. So a 10 millimeter and a 1911 is highly recommended. Take a look back up. We're going to talk about some ammo choices. And we're going to look at five different guns. 10 millimeter night. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. This is really an incredible gun. The Kimber Eclipse Custom 2 1911 chambered in 10 millimeter manufactured right now in 2012. You can buy a brand new one. They're not inexpensive. They're, I forget what I paid, about $1,200. But I must say after shooting it, um, you're going to look at some of my other 10 millimeters. This is, this is my favorite. Even though I'm going to show you a Colt Delta Elite, this is my favorite as far as shooting it. Let me show you the other side before we go to the range. Take a look at how beautiful it is if you haven't seen it in the last video. Just gorgeous. The way they did the slide, it's not too shiny, it's not too dull, it's perfect for nighttime, it's perfect for daytime. It's just absolutely perfect for carry. And no, I am not too concerned about it at blemishing here. I know a lot of you, like eight or ten of you, have purchased this from the first video I did on this gun. Give me your feedback. I, uh, I've been carrying this now for about a week, every day, in a shoulder holster. I, I like to carry my shoulder holsters and it's got no wear and tear. Let's go to the range right now. I just want to roll in some short footage. My buddy Anthony was there uh, recording and he took some shots too. Take a look at his channel below. He's, he's got an up and coming channel, closed in on 2,000 subs. He's a good guy, my buddy Anthony. But yeah, this, this is all about the 10 millimeter. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of all the 10 millimeters we're about to look at. Let's go look at the range. Okay, we're back at the range with the Kimber 10 millimeter 1911. There we have four loaded magazines. I'm with my buddy Anthony again. He's a competition shooter. Now I'll shoot at the top left, Anthony, and then uh, you can take four magazines and shoot at the bottom right and see how we can do. 10 millimeter 1911, very special. Very sweet round too. Go full left guide run. I went to Kimber and purchased a bunch of their magazines. Perfect, feels excellent in my hands. I love it.
pumped up. That's a lot of fun shooting a 10 millimeter 1911. This is a sweet gun. I can't wait for you to shoot it, Anthony. It's a great oh. looking gun. All right, Anthony. Yeah, and so what you can do is shoot at the bottom right. This is your first time shooting a, a 10 millimeter 1911, correct? Correct, a huge flame. What you think? A little bit of action. Than I expected, but it's a nice gun and Kimber's flawless, man. Love Kimber. Yeah, yeah. You were right on right there. You might have beat me on this one. So. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's not a competition. It's all in good fun. <laughs> but I tell you, let's go talk about this on the table. All right, we got the Colt Delta Elite. Yes, I'm really satisfied with the purchase of this Kimber. I just, I love it. Um, the magazines performed perfectly, by the way. And on this particular day, we shot a lot of rounds and even some hollow points. It, it, this thing can eat anything up. Now, let's look at some other 10 millimeters. Uh, let's look at this. Now, you guys love this one. I know the positive feedback. Please take a really close look down here at the Colt Delta Elite. This is kind of what put the 10 millimeter on the map. After what's called the Miami Shootout, I did a video on it. The 1986 shootout with the FBI in which they were undergunned. So ultimately, they used Jeff Cooper's 10 millimeter and they put it into this Colt Delta Elite. And then for some reason, the FBI came back and said, uh, well, it's a little too powerful. The recoil's a little too much. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't understand that. It's just, you, you, the recoil's nil. I, I'm not, I, I don't buy into the hype of recoil. You just gotta practice. But anyway, this gun is gorgeous. It gave me a couple of hiccups um, on this particular day of shooting. So I'm going to send this gun back to Colt. It needs to be, it's 30 years old almost. It needs to be refinished and refurbished. It's even though it's like 98% perfect. We're all perfectionists. We don't like scratches on our guns. Plus, uh, it's failure to feed like every third or fourth round. I know what the issue is, and it's a feed ramp and things like that. But I'm going to send it to Colt. So if anyone from Colt, if you're watching this, um, I'll be sending this to you guys and looking for some good customer service. There's the other side. So here's another option. This came back um, for sale and in manufacturing in 2008 from the SHOT Show. So you can still buy a Colt Delta Elite. This one goes way back to when they first came out in the 80s. Now, as you know, Glock, our good old Glocks, they make two different 10 millimeters. And what I'm carrying right now is a 29, which is this. Okay, and these safety check guns put a 20 magazine in it. So therefore, you can have, what is it, 13, 14 plus one? Yeah, it's massive amount of rounds. And you get a spacer right here from eight AG grips, which goes right there. And then you can have your Glock 29 with a spacer with a Glock 20 magazine. So there you have the 29. What's your impressions? Take a close look at the 29. We know what the Glock looks like. It's the same frame as the Glock 30, by the way, this 29. 
but it's just it's more powerful than a 30. How about this this 10 millimeter right here? Oh boy, the Glock 20C. I, the recoil shooting the Glock 20C, and this has got the compensator on the top. So you would think the recoil is really controllable, which it is, which it is what this Glock 20C. But I tell you, this Kimber really felt smooth. It really, it felt like I was shooting a 40. When I shoot the Glock, because it's so much less weight, I, I, I do feel the punch a little bit, which is here nor there, I think. Like I said earlier, you know, if you, if you can't handle the gun, don't buy it and don't carry it. But practice with it and get acclimated with it. But the Glock 20C is another option for you for a 10 millimeter. I'm just trying to show you options. And here's one I, I revealed not too long ago. Take a real good close look at this. It's very light. This is a Smith & Wesson revolver. Model 310. They also make a Model 610. I should say they used to. These are extinct now, but I found this brand new on Gunbroker about a month ago, uh, new in box, and it's, it's, it was a nice find. I shot this also, and it was, it was nice. I'm not too fond on the rear sights. I just got to get more used to it. But I shoot my 44 Magnum actually better than this 10 millimeter. The 44 Magnum is more powerful than the 10 millimeter. Let's take a look at some ammo over here. Because everyone says, well, the 10 millimeter ammo is hard to get. Well, if you want personal protection ammo, you know, I recommend double tap and you just go online and buy it. It's expensive. It's very expensive. But for personal protection, you, know, you can get this 230 grain equalizer, 10 millimeter, and they have all the different grains. I did a video called The Birth of the 40 Caliber, and all they really did was take a 10 millimeter and shorten it to make the 40 cal. Very famous round. And here, if you look real close, this is uh, where I get my range ammo. Uh, it's from Georgia Arms. And if you go to their website, it's usually going to say that they're out of stock. But if you call them on the phone and give them a credit card number, I just got this in within uh, about 10 days. That's 1,000 rounds. I paid $390 for it. So it's very close to 40 cents a round. And that's for range ammo. But it is brand new ammunition. And this box down here is, is, is the bucket of, uh, of uh, so 250 rounds, right about half the price. They also sell hollow points at Georgia Arms. But for hollow point ammo, I'm going to deal with Double Tap and some of the other 10 millimeter high-end uh, companies for personal protection. Let's take a look back up. Hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to give you some ideas on the, the 10 millimeter. It's really something that you do not want to forget about. It's, and I, I know I'm gonna hear about over penetration, but we're talking about shooting hollow points, and we're talking about being level-headed and not pulling the trigger unless you know exactly your target, unless you know your life is in danger, and unless you know that where your round is going, I should say. You know, you're not gonna just be shooting off rounds in, in a personal protection situation with any caliber, 9mm, 380, anything, you can hurt people, innocent people. So we have to, that's a whole nother video. But the 10mm is what I like to carry because I think one shot, one kill, you know, not to be gruesome or nothing, but if, if someone's got a gun to my head or my family's head or somebody else's head, I like the 10mm round. That's just me. I know a lot of you guys are 10mm fanatics. Showed you a couple cool 10 millimeters here today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check it out. Please subscribe. Please tell a friend.